Caroline Anna Hammett, the founder and CEO of First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. And I'm on holiday at the moment. I'm in sunny Ljubljana, which is absolutely beautiful. And while we've been away on the coastal areas, there have been a, a lot of sea urchins around. And something I'm asked a lot of often is how should you deal with it if you happen to tread on a sea urchin? First of all, sea urchins are sweet. You can hold them in your hand. They don't look to hurt you. But if you happen to tread on them, they are covered in sharp, sharp barbs, um, similar to a, a porcupine, except these barbs have got little arrows that go the other way as well. So if you happen to tread on one, not only do the barbs go into you, but they are much harder to pull out again. So if you get a barb or anything within your skin, it's prone to get infected. So the important thing to do is if you tread on a sea urchin and you end up with some of those barbs embedded or those spines embedded in your foot, or you put your hand on them and they're in your hand, what you need to do is to get some tweezers and do your best to pull out the, the um, spines um, as quickly as you can and to ensure you get all of the spine out because the problem happens if any of the residual bits are left inside your skin and then they become infected. Please don't be tempted to po probe around with a needle to try and dig bits out because that would just make things sore and messy. Um, if you've got bits that are embedded then the advice is to put them in as hot water as you can stand without burning yourself and then squeeze to see if you can get them out. Other people suggest doing things like vinegar, um, which apparently dissolve the spines. However, I'm a bit sceptical about that because the concentration of vinegar you'd need to dissolve the spines would be pretty hefty and it would be a slow process. So the general advice is hot water as hot as you can manage and squeeze the spines out, being careful that you are getting it all out as well. Other advice you might find online is for people to get as many of the spines as they can out with tweezers and then to shave the area. I would again strongly um, dissuade you from doing that because then you're just removing any bits that you could potentially grab with a tweezers as they work themselves out. Most of the time the sea urchin spikes will work their way out and they won't cause you any long-term damage but if you do see any signs of infection so redness, swellingness, you start to feel unwell or anything, um, you do need to get medical help and you may need antibiotics. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. Um, the, the key thing of all is to prevent treading on the sea urchin spikes in the first place anyway and wear thick soled um, swimming shoes and um, avoid any of those lovely dark fluffy looking bits that are most definitely not fluffy under the sea so just be wary of treading on sea urchins in the first place thank you very much and i hope you have a lovely holiday um and um that's emma hammett from first aid for life and online first aid